And we are now a region. And so if we can all get together and celebrate, you know, it's going to be fantastic. So it's all the bilocal. David, would you just like to come up and comment? Yeah. Look, it really is exciting. And there's a lot of people in this room that have been fighting uh, for that regional recognition for a long time. Two things happened. One was in 2005, um, there was an application to, to the Geographical Names Board to make uh, the Central Coast name unique to this region. So that, that was the first step. Um, we put in place a regional uh, minister, uh, an office of the Central Coast at Gosford, uh, that uh, the regional uh, coordination unit. Uh, we started moving a few regional offices, but we kept finding that with grants, and there's a lot of people in this room that apply for grants, they either said we were Sydney, or they said we were a region and we didn't qualify in either case for anything. And it was very frustrating. So uh, I put together a, a, a little team of people who searched through all the legislation to find out where it actually said the Central Coast is part of Sydney. And we found in this very obscure piece of legislation under the Planning Act that Gosford and Wyon were part of um, a Sydney metropolitan area. So uh, about a month or so ago, with the support of the Premier, we pulled Gosford and Wyong out of that legislation and we are now uniquely a region being uh, acknowledged by all the government departments. The ABS is starting now to report uh, statistically just for the Central Coast. There was the announcement, I think it was only yesterday or the day before, that the Bureau of Meteorology will now have a Central Coast office. So in the weather reports there will be one for the Central Coast. They'll have a station at, um, I think it's at the entrance and at um, Narara, I think, to start off with. So that, so this this small announcement, there's two words taken out of the legislation, will lead to a whole lot of things. We've just announced a Central Coast Development Corporation that will look after all the government land on the Central Coast and push forward with development, creating more jobs. And the first part of that is the waterfront at the Gosford, which is the Gosford Challenge, working with Gosford City Council, which is really exciting. The council's done a lot of really good work there, a lot of community consultation and the state government's come on board through the Department of Lands and this new um, corporation to support them in creating more jobs and opportunities on the Central Coast. So it's the start, there'll be a lot of other things that happen, there'll be some more great announcements coming soon, but there's a federal election on, so we keep them quiet <laughs> till after the election. Um, but there is some really good things happening and uh, it's all come through the passion of people like, like Lynn, uh, who have fought for many, many years to get the recognition. Uh, there's too many names in the community of people that have done it. We finally found where it was and we fixed it. And uh, it was unfortunate the papers didn't give it a lot of recognition, but it is a big thing for the Central Coast. Later in the year, you'll start to hear about the new Central Coast Health Network and uh, where we get our own health region back and that'll start to grow and grow and grow. So I think the saying is from small things, big things grow. And I think that's going to help every business on the coast. It's going to help with employment. We're putting some great plans together under the title of REDES, which is the Regional Economic Development Employment Strategy. Uh, so if you hear of that, that plan's working. All the government departments are working together. Local government, Gosford and Wyong Council are working together. And finally, we're all starting to act like a region. Yes. And more importantly, finally, uh, I'm pretty sure, a little bird told me yesterday, that a memorandum of understanding will be signed between Wyong and Gosford councils uh, and the state government to form the Central Coast Water Corporation, uh, which will be owned by the Central Coast, owned by the two councils, but we finally be run as a region. So we are starting to grow up. That's really exciting news and you'll hear more to come. So I'm really happy about it. It's, um, as I said, it came from a a very small thing at the end of the day, but it will have big results for the whole Central Coast. So we should be celebrating. Yes.